Hi, Todd from Ice Hogger here. I want to talk to you a little bit about our Ice Hogger slop pail. Now our slop pail is designed to be used with the Ice Hogger shroud system. The reasons being is the Ice Hogger shroud system allows you to bring all the water slush chips up out of the hole and pump those into this bag. Now the slop pail design is such with a, a pail, uh, a bag, and it's held on by a ratchet strap. This is silicone onto the bag, so you're not going to have water dripping on your floor when you carry your chips out to dump them. The design of the bag allows you to uh, collapse it down inside the uh, pail when you want to store it away, so it stores in a fairly compact area. The, uh, the slop pail bag is made up of a uh, poly-infused vinyl. Uh, so if you were to nick this with your drill, it's not going to continue to rip. It, it, you'll obviously have a hole but that can be patched with, say, Gorilla Tape. Um, if you damage this bag to a point where it's uh, no longer able to be patched, you can replace it. It is ratchet strapped onto the pail, so it can be removed and replaced. Now, as you can see, the slop pail is good size. It, uh, it holds a lot of chips. If you're drilling, say, with a 10-inch drill, and you are uh, in two feet of ice, you will probably be okay to do that in one drilling. Uh, it's going to fill up pretty full, but uh, if you get more than a couple feet of ice, you're probably going to want to do uh, two drills, where you'll drill partially through, take the bag outside, dump the chips, come back in, set it in the hole, and then finish the hole off. That way you'll end up, you'll be able to pump, pump a lot more uh, slush, uh, the, a lot more of the, the slush and water from the hole, and you'll end up with a lot cleaner, cleaner hole as a result. The slop pail design is such that the bottom is removable and there are holes drilled at the top end of the pail. So as you set this, as you set this down inside your catch cover uh, hole in your, in your house, uh, it'll set in the hole, uh, say about six, eight inches down inside there. So you'll only have about six, eight inches exposed uh, on the upper side inside your house. So you can get down, drill, a lot lower down into your into the hole rather than if you have a uh, uh, a bucket or something like that sitting up fully on top of your house floor. So this sits down inside the hole, lets you drill a little deeper uh, without an extension. Um, now the slop pail bottom, uh, like I said, is removable. So when you drill, obviously you'll remove this pail bottom and you'll drill right through uh, the bottom of this pail, collecting the chips in the bag. Now. This does accommodate a 10 inch drill, so you can drill with a 10 inch drill inside your house. Um, it's very nice if you're uh, the type of guy that leaves your house out you, uh, week after week, you come back, you have to re-drill, you're not dealing with, uh, with collective chips over, over, the, over the course of that full season. So now that you're done drilling the hole, what you're going to want to do is replace the pail bottom so you can carry these chips outside and dump them. You drop that pail bottom back inside the pail. Push it down nice and snug so it seals off that, that bottom so no water will drip on your floor as you carry them outside. You want to take the chips that are in the bag and transfer as many as you can back into the pail. This way you'll, you'll be using the pail to carry the majority of the weight. You'll locate the pail handle and you'll carry these outside and dump them. Now the, the whole idea behind the, uh, the, the slop pail is to allow you to drill that hole with, with minimal cleanup so, you, so you're not spending a lot of time uh, with an ice scooper scooping slush out of the hole. Although there will be some chips left in the hole uh, since when you're drilling uh, with the pail diameter being the size it is and the drill having, having to fit down inside there, there will be some chips that will, uh, that will fall back in or will gather around the inside of this pail. Uh, very few, uh, a lot less than uh, the typical drilling uh, with, with any other type of device. So uh, you will have less time or you will, you will be spending less time cleaning this hole out when you're As done you're drilling. getting ready to drill, you'll put your ice auger down inside the hole. Uh, you'll position the ice auger shroud system off to the side of the long, the long side of the bag to catch your chips. Uh, it's real simple to reposition the shroud tube. Say if I was drilling the opposite direction, all you have to do is unclip these clips here that hold the uh, shroud tube in place, uh, reposition them to the other another uh, location on the handlebars to swing this tube around and the port around to the position that you'd like the chips to go. 
This chip port is where the chips will exit. You'll collect the chips off to the side in the bag here. There are holes drilled in the top of the slop pail uh, for excess water. So when you do hit water and you do want to flush that hole a little cleaner, uh, go ahead and just you know let some water flush in the, into the into the tube or into the bag, uh, and you can allow it to drain back after after the drilling process. As you can see, when I broke through, I flushed a little bit of water out of that hole. Uh, when you bring this tube out of here, you'll, you'll just lift the shroud tube. You'll just lift it out of there. Some chips are going to fall back in because of the cutting blade being bigger than the shroud tube. You will get some buildup inside the pail. That'll be easily scooped out of there, but you'll just want to slide your tube out of there like so. Set your drill off to the side and look down inside the hole and you can see how clean it is down in there. Not many chips inside the hole. Obviously there's some in the, in the pail yet. Some of those will fall back down in the hole but relatively clean area to uh, work from. So now what you do is try to scoop some of those chips out of there into the bag. And replace that pail bottom. And you can see some water over in the corners there. You know, if you lift up, you can, you can drain some of that back prior to putting that pail bottom in there, but it's not necessary. This bag's pretty durable, so it's, you know, you can carry a lot of chips with them. What you're going to do is just throw some of those chips back, right back in the pail. And there's a handle here, too, where you're going to want to be able to grab, unhook your, uh, if you have your hooks on your wall, and just, uh, I'll go out the back door here just for ease. You just want to carry them right outside and dump them. Now that's what you're left with uh, as far as uh, chips in the hole. And you can see around the hole, everything is nice and clean. If you're the type of guy that leaves your house out week after week, um, you're not going to have a lot of buildup in there, which is nice. Um, you're you're going to have a nice clean area all winter long. So now we brought the slop pail outside to dump it. Simply, uh, simply just flip it over. Flip it over. Allow that pail bottom to fall out, and there you have it.